Hi there, welcome back to the next video and uh, let's start exploring our newly created application by creating a new sheet. Alright, so I'm clicking over here which is the application we created in the previous video and here is the first screen that you will see after opening your application and here by default if you see my new sheet has already been created which we explored in the previous video and on top you see the sales application and when it was created and the file location so if you want to modify some of the information you can come over here and click on edit and edit the title and the description if you want to add any description and enable this or confirm the changes down there if you see there are some app options so what it has is the appearance uh, right to left it's basically disabled it's nothing but uh, if you are developing an application in a language which is starting from right and going to left for example arabic then you can use this option also you can change the theme which is click sense classic click sense focus and breeze uh, background color related options that you can change font color related option that you can set at the start yeah if you want to change the image so for example you are seeing these uh, images right if you want uh, to put it as a logo or your department specific logo in, in such cases you can use this image or something that you have in mind for this particular application as a logo then that you can use it and uh, another thing I will tell you is uh, a site from where you can actually get this thing because I find it very very helpful so if I come over here and uh, tell you this site which is pixabay.com so this is like an additional input I'm giving you and here I get a lot of different images I can just search with the something like analysis and it will give me all of the different ideas so I, I i heavily utilize for example like this image or like this image right gives some professional look to our application so just just a uh, additional information that you can reach to this site pixabay it's free uh, all of these images are free images which are not free is is at the start because these are sponsored images from shutterstock all right so let me go back so from there you can actually get the image and put it here and then you can have the image alignment and once you are done just click on this and come back all right so after that you can create a sheet but before i create a sheet i will just tell you some information about this ribbon and uh, in this ribbon we have three options first is sheet self-explanatory all of your sheets will be present here if you have created any bookmarks it will be present in the bookmarks tab over here and if you have any stories or you want to create a new story you can come over here and create a story but it is fully to use on the right hand side uh, again the same option create a new story but if I change the option uh, it it is not showing you any bookmark because and not even an option because bookmarks can be created only within the sheets so if I have the sheets the option is create a new sheet so two options either come here or come here and create a sheet so let's go ahead and create a sheet right i just click there and it is giving me the new sheet option and uh, let's give it like sales discovery and some description uh, let's explore sales now if you see two things the first thing is the image again you can have the image for an entire application or for a specific sheet say for example dashboard you want to indicate it with a different uh, chain uh, image analysis you want to indicate with a different image or maybe for executive summary you want to have kind of an executive related image all of that thing you can do it here so highly customizable another thing if you will observe is the expression so suppose that you want to have some uh, long information in the description and you want to have the calculated fields like at the start you want to show kind of a quick summary for the executives which takes the commentary as well as some calculated fields like this is the sales for the current month compared to the previous month sales so all those figures can be dynamic and you can within this expression editor you can create that 
entire dynamic uh, expression so that whenever any executive or anybody who is opening it and needs that information all that information will be present at the start as you can see uh, you have the options here all tables field you want to choose aggregation and all of those things again functions variables that you can apply we will see these things later in the uh, videos but i just wanted to give you an idea about what are all the flexibility that you have third thing is deleting the sheet so here you can have the option of deleting a sheet so for now i think i am good so i just clicked outside and this is the sales discovery and two option if i click here it will open up the sheet if i click here it will open up this description which i can further edit if i need all right so let's click on the upper side and it will open up a sheet for me right and right now we are in the uh, kind of a presentation mode so to go into the edit mode we can come over here and click on edit so as i clicked on edit i have four different options like fields some master items some charts some custom objects like or add-ons all right uh, here we have the option that we can select a particular table and get its related field or even we can search it if there are like hundreds of fields so for now what i'll do is stop here because there is a lot too much that i have uh, showed you uh, which you need to digest so do an experiment within the sheets uh, that you have and i will meet you in the new video uh, with some filters and all that we can create in this sheet all right